Historical Development of Literary Theory and Criticism The development of literary theory and criticism can be traced back to the ancient Greeks, who were the first to analyze and discuss the nature of literature. Plato, for example, argued that literature should serve a moral and educational purpose, and that certain forms of literature could corrupt society. In the Middle Ages, literary criticism was largely focused on the interpretation of religious texts. The Renaissance saw the emergence of humanism, which placed greater emphasis on individualism in the study of classical literature. During the Enlightenment, literary criticism became more scientific and empirical, and the focus shifted towards the analysis of language and form. In the 19th century, literary criticism was influenced by the rise of Romanticism, which emphasized the importance of individual expression and emotion in literature. This period also saw the emergence of movements such as realism, naturalism, and symbolism, which sought to represent reality in different ways. In the early 20th century, literary theory underwent a major shift with the emergence of modernism, which challenged traditional notions of narrative structure and language. Modernist writers such as James Joyce and Virginia Woolf experimented with stream of consciousness narration and non-linear storytelling, which paved the way for later literary movements such as postmodernism and deconstruction. In the mid-20th century, Literary theory became more interdisciplinary and influenced by other fields such as psychology, sociology, and linguistics. The rise of feminism in the 1960s and 1970s led to the development of feminist literary theory, which focused on the representation of gender and power in literature. Postcolonial theory also emerged in the 1970s, which examined the relationship between literature and Today, literary theory and criticism continues to evolve and adapt to new cultural, social, and political contexts. There is a growing focus on issues such as globalization, digital media, and environmentalism, and new theoretical approaches continue to emerge and shape the field.